The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring. From parts unknown, Big Bad Douglas Taylor. Oh, this match is going to be exciting. I can almost guarantee it. Whoa, it looks like he hasn't missed many gym sessions. And approaching the ring from Dublin, Ireland, weighing in at 267 pounds, the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. As always, the Celtic Warrior looks ready for battle here tonight. Oh, this one's going to look like a demolition derby when we're done here. If this one doesn't end up on a highlight reel somewhere, I'll be incredibly surprised. And here we go in this no holds barred, one fall to a finish match. Going for the cover. And it's up. He got the shoulder up. Quick thinking to avoid that. What an incredible lariat. Looking to get on a roll here. He's really taking over this match now. What's your take on what Taylor has been going through? That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Well, that messed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Not today, too fast. Wow, unbelievable impact there. If there's a superstar that WWE fans know will fight until he literally has nothing left, it's Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior has become a decorated superstar and famous for taking the fight to anyone that gets in his way or issues him a challenge. Ow, that hurt. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah. You're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a cold. Sheamus sneaks out of that one. And I'm sure that was just pure instinct on Sheamus' part. Wow, that overhand punch started down behind his feet and just kept coming. Woohoo, man, that came out of left field. King, it's no longer a surprise that Sheamus will not back down from a fight, back down from any man, and back down from any challenge. Sheamus attacks his opponents with a tenacity that has never been witnessed before in this business, and it doesn't look like he's going to deviate from that approach anytime soon. Well, the Celtic Warrior has most definitely built a reputation around the concept of taking on all comers, and the WWE fans know that when Sheamus steps into that ring, they're going to see someone who is relentless in achieving his goal of defeating his opponent. And that's just the beginning. There are a few events over the course, but there's no coming back from that. The more punishment he takes, the slower and slower he is getting back to his feet. A major moment in the career of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus was winning the 2012 Royal Rumble. Sheamus was the 22nd superstar to enter the Rumble and after more than 21 minutes eliminated Chris Jericho. Sheamus punched his ticket to a championship match at WrestleMania 28 and well, we all know what happened then. Yeah, Michael, I remember we called that Royal Rumble together and if you remember, that was also the Rumble we entered the match's participants. Sheamus winning was huge. 
He entered the ring like a house of fire, and he didn't stop until he was announced as the winner. Oh, my gosh! Oh, you felt that go right through the body. You may not have... End of story. This one's over. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE. Oh, and did you hear the impact? Winning the 2012 Royal Rumble, which was the 25th Royal Rumble, was a major achievement in Sheamus' career. It's a special kind of accolade to be able to say, you won the Royal Rumble. When Sheamus eliminated Chris Jericho, that should have been the warning that he was going to WrestleMania to make history. It would not be denied. What do we got here? My God, what brutality. This match is going from bad to worse. You said it, Cole. You know, I don't always like agreeing with you, Michael, but- Oh, no, not on the table. And there goes the table, Well, All bets are off now. Well, it was nice while it lasted, Cole. Sheamus was ferocious the night of the Rumble. And what was also impressive about his win was that the Celtic Warrior somehow endured the walls of Jericho's submission move. Sheamus was somehow able to come back and eliminate Jericho to win. I mean, it was incredible. When he gets going like this, there are few better. Bringing it back between the ropes. And that's a good thing. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Hey! There it is. Taylor got it. That could be the move that wins it for Taylor. Extra slow getting back to his base here. This might be it. Stunner. Oh, man, that should do it. Now that's a finishing move. This thing might be all over. Hey, Cole, this could do it. I think so. Two, three. Oh, wow, what a win. One in a million. Well, he may be looking Let's at take a look back at what exactly. Here's your winner. He gets a victory here tonight. Love him for him. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. So what was it that you wanted to share with the WWE Universe tonight? I want to let the WWE Universe know that I am going to fight for them. The Authority doesn't run the WWE, the WWE Universe does. And I am going to do everything I possibly can to take power away from the Authority and put it back into the hands of the WWE Universe. There you have it. Back to you, Cole.